Hi guys, so this is going to be my 31 week pregnancy update and um, today I'm actually 31 weeks and three days, almost 31 weeks and four days because it's almost midnight. Um, so anyway, I had put up a, a belly shot. Um, I think I did that on either Sunday or Monday, I can't remember. And um, I wasn't feeling good. I actually haven't been feeling good all week and it's not that I have like a cold or a flu or anything like that. It's just, I just feel like crap. And um, so, and I've got really bad indigestion. I actually tried to make that video and I just literally kept burping and burping and just like, oh, like the burning sensation. I mean, I'm sure everybody that's watching this knows what um, indigestion feels like. It was um, a really bad day that day as far as indigestion goes and this, week I've been really exhausted. So, um, it's just been rough. So to just talk about symptoms for the week, uh, pretty much that just, it's been a rough week for me. Um, I'm not complaining. Um, I wouldn't change any of this for the world, but, um, but it is a reality. Uh, so yeah, it's just a reality that, you know, you can't go an entire nine months pregnancy without, you know, feeling like crap a lot, especially at the end. So, um, but anyway, yeah, just the exhaustion is unreal this week. Um, I've had zero motivation, zero to do anything. Um, it's re it's been, I mean, I think I'm hoping that this was just like a bad week as far as that goes. Maybe I'm, I mean, it probably has something to do with how enormous I've become. Um, I think the baby is growing so much and so fast that it's just like really wearing me out. I mean, cause I'm literally growing a human being. So um, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and venture a guess that that's why I've been feeling so run down and tired um, because I have popped out majorly, even, even more so since my last um, since my belly shot the other day, I mean, a, a lot, I think, um, I, every time I pass by my reflection or the mirror or something, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's bigger every day. It's really cool though, because, um, because this whole pregnancy, I've, I've been like, I really don't feel like I've grown anymore. And then, um, but now it's just like, I'm finally to that point where I'm just popping out every week and, um, Definitely this week is a big, big, big growth spurt for me and the baby. So, um, but anyway, uh, so we are trying to track down the hardware for the crib to get the crib up. I um, washed all the baby's clothes. Um, cause I was feeling kind of guilty that I hadn't done anything yet. And then um, I started realizing after I washed all the clothes, I'm like, well, they're not even going to smell like detergent anymore after, you know, by the time the baby gets here, but, um, but I got it done anyway, and, um, it's a little something, and, uh, we're trying to track down the hardware for the crib so we can get that put up. Um, I have some more preparations to do in my room because the crib will be in my room, and, um, so let's see here. So, yeah, the exhaustion, like, I have no motivation to do anything. Um, when I lay like I'll go lay down on the couch after dinner and I'm just done for it. And I, I think probably every night this week, this past week, I've sat on the couch after dinner and passed out. Like one of those sleeps where you fall asleep and you're sleeping so good and it feels so good to just drift off and you, um, and then I'll wake up like within a half an hour and it's kind of like a power nap, but I never do that. So, I mean, you know that I'm exhausted when I do something like that. Um, let me see here. Um, the indigestion is really bad. It's not as acid refluxy <laughs> as it was with my son, but, um, I still have eight weeks and something to my due date, eight weeks and a couple of days until my due date. So, um, baby's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. And I know that's contributing to the indigestion. So I think it, um, this is probably when the, the acid reflux started to really begin in my pregnancy with my son. So we'll see how that goes this time around. And, um, so 
yeah, just trying to get some things done, but I'm just so unmotivated this week and so tired. It's just, I mean, I barely made it through washing his clothes, but of course, all of his clothes that I have, and I have quite a bit from all the way from newborn to six to nine months. There wasn't as many six to nine months, but everything fit in one load because it just, the clothes are so tiny. So I had forgotten about how tiny baby clothes are. I mean, it was unbelievable. So, um, I don't know. There was some talk that a friend of mine might be getting me a really nice diaper bag as a gift. There was talk from my dad and my stepmom that they were going to get me a car seat stroller combo or at least a car seat and a stroller. And I haven't heard anything from them. And I'm kind of, you know, getting anxious to get things together. So it's like, I don't want to ask them, like, are you still getting me that? But, um, but I kind of want to know <laughs> so I know whether or not I should go ahead and get it myself because um, I'm just feeling that um, that urge that you get at the end like towards the end of your pregnancy where I really need to get stuff done and it's not so much nesting because I don't have the burst of energy that comes along with nesting but it's that instinctual um, thing where like oh my gosh I have a baby coming soon and I need to be ready for him um, but yeah that's pretty much it I'm glad that I was able to to do something this week for the video because I've just been feeling pretty bad this week. But um, on on a more positive note, um, last, well, it's going to start on a negative note. Now, last Tuesday and half a Wednesday, the baby like barely moved. Um, but ever since then, he's been moving like crazy. Um, he feels huge in there now. And I'm really excited because on um, Friday, which is like a day and a half away, because it's almost Thursday. Um, Friday is my birthday, by the way, and um, I have my OBGYN appointment, my 32-week checkup. I will be 31 weeks and five days. I will be um, getting an ultrasound first, and it's going to be a growth scan, and since it's my birthday, um, I've talked myself into getting a another 3D scan. I haven't had one since 24 weeks. I wasn't planning on getting another 3D scan, but I've really talked myself into it. And plus, I'm not going in there just for this. They're going to be in there doing an ultrasound anyway. So, um, it's and it's gonna be a really short sneak peek session because I don't wanna fork out like $100 or something. So, um, it's just gonna be a quick session. Just see his little face now that he's like all big and chubby. And I'm excited because at my doctor's office, when they do 3D scans, they don't do weight. But since at the same exact time I'll be in there getting an ultrasound anyway, specifically to check the weight, I'll actually know his weight this time. Now, if he's growing exactly one ounce a day, then I think I calculated he should be about four pounds and three ounces on Friday, which would make him about like four pounds and one ounce today. Um, but who knows, because he feel if I were to guess, he feels like five pounds at least. But, you know, there's no way I can know that for sure. He just feels so huge all of a sudden. And I feel all of his movements. And, um, I mean, and he, it's like to the point where when he kicks and rolls and pushes, it hurts. Like, he pushes in my um, hip bone and up in my ribs, and it can actually hurt. So he feels really big. Um, so I'm anxious to see all that, and um, I'll have to make a video and show the um, the footage of the 3D scan. And I'm, I think I'm going to have a disc of that because I think they're offering like a a free disc because um, otherwise it's like $25. Um, and I didn't buy the disc last time, but hopefully I'll have it this time, and then I can upload a video because that'd be interesting um, to look back on. And for anyone else that might be close to where. The, where I am in my pregnancy. Might be interested in seeing that as well. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'm pretty much just rambling at this point. So I am still craving water this week. And I don't know if you can see that, but I am obsessed with water. I don't know if it's pica where you crave ice and other non-nutritional things. Um, I'm not anemic and my blood work was fine. I don't know what I would be deficient in or if if um, pica even means you're deficient in anything, I don't know. But I have to have two of these at a time. Like, I put it in the freezer for like two hours and get it like where there's ice chunks that form on the side and I break it up and shake it 
and like that's all I want all day is down these. So I'm drinking so much water that I think this ultrasound is going to be like crystal clear. The amniotic fluid should be really clear and stuff and plentiful. So that's it. I'll show you a belly real quick. Even though I already did my belly shot, might as well show you again because here I am. So I'll see you guys, well, probably just in a few days on Sunday for my 32-week video. Bye, guys. All right. So check this out. Whoa out of nowhere. So, my goodness. <sighs> Oop, I'm tripping over my shower curtain. You see what I mean, y'all, like about to pop? It looks like I'm about to pop and I still have eight weeks. So, hang on one second, let me get situated. All right, so here we go, here it is. Almost, well, let's see here, 31 and a half weeks. So, whoa mama, see you guys in a few days.